Science New Zealand has returned to our screens for its fourth season and as always it promises to be a great series full of truly inspirational houses in stunning locations around our beautiful country. Patty Coley features in tomorrow night's episode and she joins us now yes. to give us a bit of a sneak peek of her home in the gorgeous Mangawhai Estuary. It is great to have you here Patty. Lovely, and I'm excited to be here too. I'm excited to see your place. Oh, first of all, before we get into that, tell us a little bit about yourself. Myself? Well, I've always had a passion for houses. Um, my husband and I have built or renovated four homes and built this is our third home. Wow, well, and you're still built. together. And we're still together, we're still talking. <laughs> <laughs> and we would still like to build another one. Oh, wow. Well, that's <laughs> so good. it hasn't been a bad experience at all. So you've truly got a passion. And I heard totally. too, you're quite into antiques, is that yes, true? Yes, yes. Is that why you have to keep building houses? To Probably, <laughs> to fit them all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I've, I've quietened off a bit now. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Would it be fair to say you're a bit of a hoarder? Or <laughs> um, well, I sort of take a bit of umbrage to that, really. I'm saying more of a collector. But can we get into your house without going yeah, Oh, you can. You can. can. <laughs> <laughs> I've been known to have con two containers full and I have made a few mistakes along the way of buying an extra headboard which I thought I needed and I didn't. Because Who I buys an extra one. Well, Who I goes, did. Well, I might need that one day. I'll <laughs> buy that and tuck it in the garage. Well, I, I, got, I bought a new one and I said to my husband, look, can you please get it up into storage? And he said, well, what's that over there? <laughs> <laughs> What's the headboard? <laughs> anyway, that, we, we got around that. No, you're though. right, and you're very... making mistakes, you're learning, and I guess it all plays into building and renovating totally. homes. So, you know, you must have been pretty comfortable with your expertise to allow a film crew <laughs> to film you over the period. It, it has been a, a very enjoyable experience, I have to say. Nice, nice. Um, we got on so well with our builders and our architect and, and our suppliers, and we didn't have a lot of dramas because we put a lot of effort into the planning. Mm. Uh, we bought this property or the land six years ago. We took four years to actually turn the first sort of dirt. Right, so a lot of planning. So a lot of planning up front and that was very frustrating but I could see the reason for it and so yeah. by the time we got to council straight through. Good to have that done there and you and your husband Jeff decided to build a lot of it out of recycled materials. We did. Why, we did. why did you make that decision? Well I wanted to I considered then that this would be our last build and I wanted to build something that was in keeping with <clears throat> the situation where it is at Mangafai on the water and also to have something that reflected New Zealand. Right. And, um, and I knew a person in Tauranga at the Mount Monganui who specialised in recycling. So we had a meeting, I had a look at the product that he could source for us and we went from there and the project really grew from that but I, I had the bones of what I wanted to do and I wanted to have New Zealand reflected in most parts of our build and I have to say it is and we are delighted because we've got history and we've got a story to tell about lots of materials in our house. No, and I'm so pleased you've had the guts just to stay true to what you really we wanted. Have. As you can see the end result looks mm. stunning, we're going to see more of that tomorrow night. I, I heard a rumour that Real Groovy, the record store, was involved somehow. Yes. How on earth did that link yes, happen? Yes, that was when Real Groovy Records came down mm. and, um, and I was lucky enough to secure the bricks, 100-year-old bricks. That is great. So we thought we have to make a feature of these throughout the house. So they're in the kitchen oh. and part of the lounge and, a, and part of our bedroom, the master bedroom as well. Oh, that's and excellent. It just adds, again, mm. the story and so much character. And the fact, you must take ages to show people around your property because you'll be like, and these are the bricks from Real Oh, Groovy. yes. <laughs> and you've also got doors from Wellington Whitcalls. Yes, we have. Tell us about those. Um, Wellington Whitcalls, that's beautiful, thick Rimu. And I found an artisan cabinet maker, also in Mount Monganui, um, and he built these doors for us. Wow. And all the steel brackets that are in those doors and in the big trusses, all that steel all comes from the Waihi mines and they were old cyanide tanks what? so that has a story as well you know, cyanide tanks so I know, I know that it's, they were long 40 years ago okay. 50 years ago <laughs> it's, it's all right, right. <laughs> it's all right and who has the bigger passion for building is it, is it you or is it husband Jeff uh, probably me and how did you convince Jeff to go ahead with this <laughs> well we had an agreement that he ran our business yes and I'd trot off and manage this build um, with his help, but I was the one that drove that because we had to have someone to run the business. So we've got a very good working relationship and mm -hmm. a partnership, both in life and in business. Well, you obviously have if you've renovated four homes and you want to yes. do another one still. Yeah, we could do. So why did you decide to go on Grand Designs? Um, a lot of people ask me that. A little bit more stress it, to the relationship, it, I would have thought. It did. Um, well, I'm proud of what we've done. Right. 
And I thought that we had a story to tell. And I know that a lot of these products we've used, there's not a lot more available now in New Zealand because they come off old wharves, like all our trusses are from the Wellington Ferry Wharf. Wow. And then there's some of it comes from old railway bridges. Now, that product is not that easy to find anymore. Well, it's very limited, isn't it? Very limited yeah. and very expensive, I might add. But, so if you it, but if you plant the seed of recycling for other Kiwis that are building, then there's a flow-on effect. Oh, there, totally. Which I totally. absolutely love. Um, you know, like our kitchen bench is an old engineering workshop bench that's still got the holes in the top with the, where the lathe was, and I bought that up from Nelson. So it was, that was bespoke. Our dining table and coffee tables are recycled. Okay, when I hear the word bespoke, I think budget. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> was yeah, that that's a big budget? Right. Did you blow it out? What of course happens? we did. <laughs> of course we did. <laughs> but to us, it was worth it. Right. I mean, we could contain it. Obviously, we, we controlled it and managed it. Mm -hmm. um, but the difference between a truss that looked like a toothpick mm. compared to the trusses that you, you'll see on the programme, right. you will understand why? Why, we, why we've done it. And of course, it costs more, but... We can't repeat what we've done. But you get this incredible, magical place to mm. call home. Mm. Would you recommend taking on a big building job like this to anyone? Um, it's not for the faint-hearted. Um, what I would say is you've got to be organised. Right. You've got to have a vision and stay focused. You'd be a little, have to be a little bit bolshy? In the oh, yeah. A yeah. little bit, I suppose. <laughs> um, but also, we surrounded ourselves with good people. Right. You know, the builders, our architect our suppliers and so we we treated them well and we had a respect and they had a mutual respect for us so we all worked in a collaborative process to get this across the line and I'm sure there were times when I got a bit forthright forthright <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you've got and to a take couple of times there were comments that somebody was a bit scared of me but <laughs> <laughs> oh you're lovely how would that happen yeah. okay, well, oh that, it can <laughs> that brings me nicely to some top tips because there'll be people here that have the dream of building and mm. you know New Zealand's housing market at the moment there is a push for people to build their own homes mm. maybe not as extravagant as one <laughs> you built but what would be your top tips apart from the getting organised well to me that is and the, the vision top tip? Mm. yes right. and keep, it, keep control of your budget you know, know that if you've got a little bit of wriggle room, which we knew we had, um, and source you know, not only your vision, but source your products before you start. Because one of the worst things a builder <laughs> can come across is he's got the plan, he starts, and you come in and say, I want that door moved, or I don't like that anymore. That costs you money mm -hmm. and frustration for all. Thanks so much, Patty. I cannot oh, wait to see the pleasure. finished product. Neither can we. <laughs> <laughs> Grand Designs New Zealand screens Wednesdays at 7.30 on 3. Don't miss tomorrow's episode, which features Patty and her incredible home. And if you do, then be sure to check it out on 3 now.